Hello, welcome to another video on my channel. Thank you for joining me today. I'm unboxing, unwrapping something I got from Amazon. This is part of my birthday present from my hubby and I'm very excited to receive it. I know what it is because he gave me the money to order it, but I thought I'd share it with you. So look what I got. Ah! Mission Gold. Oh, it's the 36 colors. I'm so excited. And there should be one other thing in there. Yes. A little very well wrapped. Let me cut this. I can't believe the size of these things when you think of the price of them. A magenta, quinacridone and magenta. Winsor Newton Professional paint. I'm trying to build up my collection of these Winsor Newton Professional watercolors. So I'm going to get rid of this and show these to you. And then I'm sure you've seen them before on other channels, but they are brand new to me and I've been dying to get them. So I'm really excited. All right, so I've now got rid of that packaging and let me open this. Isn't that a beautiful box? I think it comes with the palette. It says so, watercolors and palette, which I'm particularly excited about. And they're all listed. Look at that. Oh, that's so beautiful. Wow. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's very classy looking. So I've got enamel there. And they, oh, they all come in these little boxes. And seven milliliters, which is bigger than, than the Winsor & Newton, which is five milliliters. I'm going to put all of these colors not on the video and then I'll swatch them with you just now. So now I've carefully decanted all of these paints. They're so beautiful and they come with the pigment number on the tube as well. Really professional paints like this red brown. It shows that it's the pigment PB25. It gives a light fast rating and it shows that it's a semi staining paint. So all in all, all the information you need. This is a set of 36 colors and in the accompanying pamphlet, it shows there are 126 colors altogether. One thing I do notice is that there is not a gray. I see with what they've sent, there's ivory black and there's sepia, but I see there is a neutral tint available um, that doesn't come in this set. And then there apparently seem to be some opaque mission watercolors and there is gray of gray there but um one can get a gray by just watering down your black or by if you want a slightly more opaque kind of color by adding a bit of white to that so i'm going to swatch them now i've made myself a little swatch chart i have two jars of water one for the reds and yellows and browns and one for the blues and greens. So my general impression while swatching these is that they are incredibly vibrant paints. They were obviously wet while I was swatching this, so they activated with the water very well. But the pigments are vibrant and gorgeous and I've let the paints dry in the palette and then reactivated them with water again and tried them and they are beautiful paints i'm so excited about them so i'm going to put a little bit of music on while i complete the swatching and i hope you enjoy seeing all these glorious vibrant colors if you have these paints even if it's not this particular set i'd love to know what you think of them please let me know in the comments and also if you do happen to have this particular set could you let me know in the comments how you have managed to identify them in the palette? Because I don't want to use the top of the palette for a swatch chart. So I've made the separate swatch chart and I've now 
with some filter pen just numbered each of these little palette dishes or indentations. I never quite know what to call them. But I'd love to know what means you've used of identifying which paint is which, because as you know yourself, when these paints have dried, they tend to look very similar. So it's nice to know which color is which, and it gets confusing after a while. have the completed swatch chart all done. I hope you've enjoyed this video and please if you haven't subscribed already remember to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.